Welcome back, YouTube. I am still Shatterdrift, and with me is still my OPing sidekick slash stuffed pet monkey Gaki. He is also currently a uh, Pofud, or no, not Pofud. Answer. Um, I guess I'll s or we're in Odin's world. Heck, you guys already know this. You've been following the OP up to this point. If you haven't, and if you're joining now, though, welcome. Keep watching. Uh, we are in Valhalla in Final Fantasy Legend Two. Where's the defense sword? Um, I looked on Game Facts and read the uh, Monster Meat FAQ to try to get some understanding of how monsters work in this game. Uh, right, Zen is still in defense. Becky, you can chillax and defend. Uh, Rex will go after the answerers. I will have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, Legend Sword against Wraith. Um, so, the way monsters work, uh, there's five monsters for each, uh, sprite. So that, uh, Wraith there, as you remember, the first ghost monster we ran into was an Obake. Uh, there were also... I don't remember any, what any other ones were named. And, uh, other than answers, there were also Hofuds and other stuff. We should have only run into, like, three of each monster up to this point in the game. Uh, with the, uh, there were Jaguar, and with, like, the Jaguars, for example, there was a Jaguar, the Snowcat, and the... Who knows? Something else. Um, Rex, which are your karate? Fun laser sorting, the hope and the agility. And so, uh, each monster family has a, uh, what would the term be here? Level? Kind of? Either A, B, or C. Which, I mean, it's probably represented numerically in the game, but that's beside the point. And, uh, C monsters are the strongest. Which means, like, all monsters of that family are stronger. Well, that family is inherently stronger than, like, a B class family. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure this ghost family, the Obake family, is, uh, a C class. And so, basically, you want any monster in your party to be C class. And you'll slowly work your way up the ladder with C classes. And, like, as long as you continue eating C class meat, you'll remain a C class monster. But if you eat, like, an A class or B class meat, you'll, uh, go down. Like, you're already an answer, so eating that meat's not really gonna matter. It'll just turn into something else, and I don't really want you to the moment. Yeah, double stat game! Uh, maybe my HP can't go to 1024 like I originally thought it could. It's, I, it must be able to somehow, but I don't know how. And the fact, since I'm gaining agility, I'm not gonna complain. Ooh, who lost HP? Zen did. How did you lose HP? Weren't you defending the whole time? I didn't buy any new elixirs, did I? Oh well, this dungeon isn't too long from what I remember. Uh, left first. Not left first, okay. Ooh, dinosaurs. Let's make these ones go extinct too. Tankum. I'll continue with my laser sword since your second tank should be able to take him out. Uh, ooh, first tank took him out. And uh, at the end of the game, once you eat an, uh, a level, like a level 5 meat, there's two bosses at the end of the game that both drop uh, the highest level meat and they're guaranteed to drop it. And once you become that level of a monster, you'll never go beneath that level. Whereas, I don't know if that applies with all the levels, like, I don't know if Gaki can't get knocked- No, Gaki got knocked back down to a harpy, didn't he? In the nasty dungeon. So right now, it might still be possible for him to, like, degenerate to, like, a jaguar or something, maybe. Could be wrong. I did not sneak through that, no, I can't. Dude, staff, that's the crappy one that confuses enemies, right? I didn't grab the, uh, little foldout that would be helping me a lot right now, did I? We're not counter. I want to have you used. We'll attack against Lamia. I can still kill the tanks. I'll go against Lamia as well. It's a strong attack. So was that. <laughs> oh! Another thing I picked up on. Uh, Lamia should also be C-class, I want to say. C or B, I think. Um... You, you might remember those uh, magicians, and those commandos, and the robot enemies we've been running into. None of them drop meat. Which, uh, heavily implies that they're actually the same classes as my own party members are. 
Like, the robot monsters we ran into have been, like, the same as Rex, except just, like, with specific stats and equipment. And, uh... Let's take out that Lamia. We're gonna take out the Killers. The Killers should be a, a C-class. Or, A-class, a because they're weak. Same as those gangs at the beginning of the game. Same as the White Belts, really, Ron? Hey, agility for me. And I'm now out of Laser Sword, aren't I? What was I just saying? Like, the Magicians should be the same, should be Esper slash Mutants, just like Zen. And the Commandos should be humans, just like me. I just put myself at something agility raising. we have anything? I'm gonna go grab that little hold out. Because generally, if a weapon relies off of agility, it raises agility. Generally, not always, I don't think. Uh, Gungnir Spear is really strong from what I remember. Gungnir. Effects 1. Oh, they misspelled effects. Effects to one group of enemies. Yeah, I don't want to burn that until late game. I need agility razors. Go with the defense now. Defense was not really going to be too much for me. Uh, Cat Claw should be agility. Almost definitely. I also want to raise Zen's agility. How far are we along on defense? I want to get him to 25, right? I guess we'll keep going a while longer. I just stick with Dragon Sword and go raising my strength? Yeah, I can still use agility just like everybody else. Yep, Cat Claw's 50, we'll risk it. The town in the next world should have some type of weapon that always agility anyway, so it shouldn't matter too much. Uh, Gaki, W attack the gas, I guess. Rex, you wanna have your missile, everybody? Yep. I will go, I'll start off with Dragon Sword. Make sure Gaki takes down that gas. Or no, the gas should be down anyways because of the missile. Or I'll take it down personally, sorry Gaki. Should have had to use counter, my bad. This is like flying missile of doom. Actually, I guess all missiles fly, so that's pretty redundant. Uh, defend, defend. Tank against the. Oh, I have to go missile again. A little cat claw to make sure I get in a kill against a killer, or to make sure I just use it and hopefully gain agility. there is to say about meat, and about the sprites and stuff. Uh, Saga 3, or Final Fantasy Legend 3, depending on what you want to call it, uh, that one definitely played off of the idea of your party members becoming any type of monster, uh, beast, robot, or cyborg that you could fight in battle. And then it, like, caps at level 32 or 33, whatever levels at the end of the game. Maybe it's level 40 something, I don't remember. Uh, okay, Gekki, go counter this time. I don't want to waste those missiles. The dinosaur will guarantee it dies. I'll cat claw, no, I'll dragon sword the killer. Ooh. We tried to use the uh, chainsaw. Speaking of which, I was re skimming through the one thread while trying to find the exact uh, stat growth rates. Ooh, some strength down. But it really matters. And, uh,. Apparently you can abuse the robot's agility, like, because robot's stats don't cap when you equip them with weapons, they'll secretly be going higher than 99. So, uh, switch to karate. Just cat claw. And, um, I guess if you crank a robot's agility way up high, you can abuse the chainsaw, since I guess it's reliant on agility to hit or something. And you can basically go around one hit, hit, hit killing enemies throughout, like, the entire game or something. Ridiculous like that. Or maybe just during, like, the middle of the game, I don't know. I think that's every interesting tidbit I have to really say. About this game, at least. Maybe I'll think of something exciting to say along the way. Uh, it's the middle of the afternoon, 4 o'clock, on Friday the 17th of February. Yeah, he's in defense. 